What kind of person names you shoot gun shop and gun shop? Why is there two gun shops? Um, are you guys twins? It is Jada Bomb here, and I'm so sorry that I have been gone for the past three months now. Um, at the beginning of this year, I actually had some um, death issues with some family members, and so, um, yeah, I kind of want to go through that because that's kind of a really sad moment in my life. But anyways, so I, so I kind of took a like really long break. Plus, school is just, yeah, just really busy. So. Anyway, so I'm back to making this video for you. Um, today we're going to show you how to make Call of Duty zombie um, stuff for vanilla Minecraft because um, I am a big fan of just the game in general and I've been wanting to make a map but every time I haven't been searching stuff on YouTube, nothing that I'm wanting is popping up. So I thought that if you guys is looking for the same thing that I am like looking for, um, this is the right video for you, so I guess let's just go ahead and go into it. Okay, so first we have a lot of stuff that we're going to go over. We're going to go over the, per the perks, um, we're going to go over the uh, mystery box, the doors, um, even like the barriers. Um, yeah, so and they're all using signs like this that has colored signs and this is just like a testing site for the map and stuff. So yeah, I thought I'd really show you all my lovely junk I don't want. Anyways, so first off we're gonna go to this command block and here is the main thing that you're looking for and for the signs anyways and it's text one and then all this here and I'll put all these in the description below because I'm pretty sure you guys want these too. So you can copy and paste which is fine with me. Um, so that's the basic for the text and that is like right there and the text one would be the green right there, 950, that's the money. But I just kind of just showed you this is kind of the basic thing. And then over here, as we get more technical, you'll put block data. And um, the reason why you put block data is so whatever the, the sign is up above, so it will be blank. Um, once you click the button, it will automatically change the sign to what you're wanting. So that's what this is, and it will, if I actually, here, let me just show you real quick. Uh, I need a blank sign. Okay, so I'll put a blank sign here. And then if I get me a button, I see here. Just do this. So this will um, put text one. And here I just change it for you. So let's do hello YouTube. And that the text right here where I put it, that is the text that will show up on the side. And text one is like line one, line two, line three. So like remember that. And then the color, um, there's like a long list. You can Google that up if you want to. Um, I'm just gonna do dark red. Remember, if you're gonna do dark something or a light something, like like purple, then you want to put the underscore so it will read it. So that's what you want, and then you click this. Okay, maybe something's wrong. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> you need another um, parentheses, and that's just like right here. That's that's why. So remember that I I didn't do that. No. Maybe maybe not. What am I doing wrong? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Well, okay, and we're back. Okay, so I, I remember what I did wrong is you need another parentheses and you want another um that right there. So this will should show up. There you go. So um here I I I'll just read it really quick. All right, sorry, I'm back. Um, I had to fix something because something's not was not going the right way I was wanting. Anyway, so if you put a you want to put a regular sign right here for this 
uh, for this command block. And so right here, you need block data, and then that's for um, um, whatever is in this command block, and you push the button, it will automatically show up here, so like that right there. So, um, and we're going to do this for you. I put hello YouTube in the space right here that's provided, and that is, is where the text is going, that's the text that is going to show up. Text one is like line one, line two, line three. Oh, and you always want to put the one right there to do like a block above. That's why the sign's right there. And so there's that. And then the color. If you want to do a light or dark, you have to put an underscore. If it's just regular, just put it in there. And I'm going to do dark red. So once I click this button, do hello YouTube. Now the difference between this one and this one is text one is what is going to be in between the parentheses, as you see here. Um, you do need to put a parentheses around here, and then you want to do one back here, but you have to end it with a uh, quotation marks. So um, over here, if you're going to do like text four, once you end it, so like right here, you want to put parentheses, and then here's this again that you want to do the uh, um, qu the quotation marks. You want to put a comma, and then you want to go, go keep going like text four and so on so that's how you do the basic step and now we're gonna go on to the mystery box so the stuff that you'll need is this is just my design um, I'm just gonna go on this way this is my design so I'm just going to I don't know I'm doing that I'm just gonna pick up the random stuff right here and then you need the wall and then I'll show you the command here in a minute so I'm gonna move over here and so you want to go one two three four Four, five. So what we're gonna do is gonna go one, two, one, two, and I'll show you what this is here in a minute. So what you want to do is put a spruce planks like so. Now you need, um, you do need back here a dispenser, and then I'll show you what this is here in a minute. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the dispenser. No, first you're gonna put the oak stairs going this direction, and you'll see why. And then here is the dispenser, and you want it to look this direction. The reason why, uh, hey, I'm so sorry there. Anyways, the reason why I wanted to put the stairs, because if you put a regular block, the the items in here won't actually go through the mystery box like you're wanting. So if you actually push on this button, it would actually go through the um, dispenser like you're wanting. So that's what that is. And now what you want to do is um, go around each side, and you want to put the parentheses that you want, and then I'm going to put the button. And then layer it on top of trapdoors. And now this is where you just want to put a quid behind, like so. And that is your basic design for this. Okay, so now let's go over to the commands. So the commands is the same thing as what I just taught you there. All you do is you put line one, line two, and line four. And then I just put mystery box on the top, mystery box on the second line, and then the very bottom I put how much it is. And that is very, very important. Now the money side on the on the right side that you see, um, that is how much money that you are going to use to purchase for like the mystery box and stuff like that. Except the barrier, and the barrier will actually add money to the right side. But um, that is using a scoreboard. You can do anything you want to. This is just a dummy. Um, if I actually do a map, I'm probably going to do um, total entity kill count. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm gonna do something with the zombies. So that would be the money. So um, when you right click the sign, um, and this is where it's going to be a little bit different. Okay, so on text two, I put mystery box, which is the same. And it's all the way up the same until right here. And then, <coughs> sorry, right here will be a click event, and a move action, run command, value, and then you will have set block, and then you will put the three, the X, Y, and Z, and then put Minecraft Redstone. And what this will do is once, and then once you like put this up here, once once you right click this sign right here, it will put a redstone block right here, which will activate the dispenser. It will activate this, which will uh, change this to air, and this will remove money. So you see 950. And that is exactly what how much the mystery box is. And so you see again, scoreboard players remove, 
at P score and then right here where the money is is exactly like the title of what you're like the right side is and then min equal sign 950 or how much your money is and then you put money and then so on so I'll just show you right here so if I do sandstone put all this stuff back here so if I right click the sign like so it automatically gave me an item which is a bow and that's just nothing special but that's just for this show and as you see the blocks disappeared and um, you're probably wondering what happened to the block it actually did place a redstone um, yeah did put redstone back here which deleted the sandstone but then also disappeared so that's what ha that's what you do with this so this is a very compact um, version I see a lot of people doing different stuff um, this is only for PC though um, Xbox is a little bit different this is all PC actually it's just cause, uh, yeah it's just all commands okay so the day so I'm gonna show you something really cool to just off topic so I did change like this says set a day set at night which I did that wrong but I didn't care I just left it so if you right click it sets a day so that's just something if you want for your server or anything that's what you need to do so over here is um, not that here is um, the weapon is the exact same thing for the sign over here and it's just different um, name so that's just kind of the same tutorial and this you just put on the wall um, oh and you can place it wherever but you want to place this under like one block underneath the sign um, all the time um, but once you're done you can just delete the um, here just show you right here can you sure yep so if I just delete this it will stay there but that's just to show you okay so over here um, random redstone sorry about that I was trying to do something different but whatever so this right here will actually do the same thing but this time it will give me one sword if it recognizes that I have a minimum of $100 so it will actually like know that if you did it or not and then this will replace the air like so and this is the same thing removing money which is $100 so this is pretty basic it's probably the basic of all of these but um, other than that one that one's kind of the same as this but yeah and then I just named the it weapon you can name it whatever you want to but yeah so like the very top weapon and then that's his mystery box has nothing special I just that's why I named it just thought it'd just be cool okay moving on we had the perca colas and it's the same thing you uh, put in the names and then you just put a redstone so it's the same thing and that would just be repetitive for all of them um, you can also hide this wherever you want to underneath it's just wherever you want to it has to recognize the player near it so just wanted to give you the heads up um, back here it has the same thing but this time instead of giving you something whoa it's going to give me an effect and that P and then the same thing square money man tw uh, 1200 and then your Minecraft and then whatever you want and then how many seconds so there's something that you can um, do and then here's square board and then removing this and then select with air so this is the same thing and I just designed the back just as like a cool little machine so I just thought that was cool now here's um, a cool thing too is the doors this is really cool and I'm just gonna do it this is the same thing like I told you before the redstone over here there is four command blocks this time this one is removing money this one is setting air all three here is setting air and it's setting air to these two doors right here and I'll show you so if you look to the right and like the doors maybe huh this is very interesting okay Um, it's setting air to something, and I don't know what it is, so, yeah, it's, it's still the same process, I probably have to fix it, because, oh, I, I really don't know what's going on, should I try this? Hmm. 
what is it doing? It, it's doing that. I don't know, it's supposed to set air to these. Um, it's not setting air to it, but the block can be placed. Uh, okay. I, 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 I seriously don't know why it's not doing it. It was doing it earlier, but that's kind of the same thing. You're just setting air to these blocks down here. Um, let's see if this works. I, I doubt this will work. Oh, that's why. Okay, it's right here. I was like, what am, what am I doing wrong? Okay, so I, I just kind of had it in a different place, but that's still, you know, basic stuff. Okay, over here. Now, this is where it's going to get a lot of... Well, not really. Okay, it's going to get a little bit tricky, and I need a egg this time. I'm sorry for rambling off. Um, so, here is a um, barrier. So, there is a lot to this. Um, so, this is just a basic little area. And um, this one, um, however you want your zombie to spawn, I actually have a dispenser, and... That's probably what I'm gonna do with my map. I don't know how to spawn zombies like on a rave. Um, I mean, I could probably figure it away, but right now this is just the quickest for me. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to place a zombie into here. Well, the zombie once it spawns, it will actually come up to the up to here, and it will actually not leave this. It's like it's a natural barrier for the zombie. It will not leave. I can even show you in uh, game game mode S here in a few. But once the zombie is placed between these two blocks right here, these two will disappear. As over here, or oh sorry, um, it, will, it actually has a um, command block right here that's testing for, and I actually have a clock going. And if it's a testing an entity, it will go back and will delete these. And I'll show you that here a bit. So let's just go ahead and show you right now. It disappears. And the zombie is free. Now, this is the same thing as before, the redstone. But what this but what is going to happen over here is completely different before. This is setting block air, which is to the um, redstone. Now this is setting block with the Minecraft fins, and these two will both go back to the places it was at before. And then the bottom, instead of um, removing, I'm adding points to it, adding money. So it's like the same thing as the game. So if I click the door, it will build back. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you um, with it to work. So let's do game mode survival. Okay, let's go to easy and let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to push this button. Zombie spawned. It had automatically moved like before. I'll kill the zombie. And then I can just click this and it replaces it back. So um I hope you guys enjoy this little video. I'm sorry if I like um said something wrong or anything. Uh, I'm not like, you know, a really good person at this that writes a script for every video that I do. But, you know, I just go with the flow. So, if you have any questions, just ask me. Um, if there's a way of making it more um, compressed and easier, then go on ahead. But I thought this probably would be easier commands and stuff because, you know, commands is amazing. But yeah, so I hope you guys like my video. And I hope you guys um, subscribe to me and like this video because... You know, I'm pretty sure people would use this because it's a really useful information that a lot of people probably did not know. And me, I had to literally fix commands that people have shown me to do certain things and it turned wrong. So this is actually a 1.9 version of this. So again, if you have any questions, just ask me and see you guys in the next video. See you guys.